hello everybody welcome back to my channel today i'd like to talk to you about touching beauty um using liquify um liquify is usually associated with you know making people skinnier and so on um but i use it quite a bit when it comes to beauty it helps me kind of um, do stuff much quicker much more efficiently than maybe using other ways so i'm just going to show you today how i use it um okay so i have this image here um i have all the kind of retouching done on it already i was actually trying to do a video on it but it took me like 35 minutes so i'm just going to go right into um, the liquify part so basically what we want to do is this line here um we we want to make sure that it's nice and straight we want this like perfectly straight line in here for the eyeliner and then also we want to fix the teeth because they're a tiny bit chipped and uneven so i just want to kind of fix that in photoshop as well um so what i'm going to do i'm just going to go into my background layer and i'm going to go right into liquify um it should be nice and simple also i just wanted to mention bef because um you know it's kind of coming up to christmas and it's getting closer to new year's and i'm kind of slowly finishing work because i'm going away next week um for a holiday like a three month trip away kind of thing um i'm only going to be posting once a week um i hope you don't mind um i am going to be posting travel vlogs if somebody's going to be interested in watching if not that's perfectly fine uh i'm going to try and go for a daily vlog so we'll see how it goes okay so now that i'm in liquify i'm just going to go for the very first setting so it's the forward wrap tool and what i'm going to do i am going to uh, maybe make it kind of this big so once i have that sorted i am going to start pushing the line upwards to even it out a bit now worry about the fallout under the eye i'll have to fix it afterwards um but the point of this thing is just to make the thing as even as possible now as you see um, you just have to be very very subtle with your movements you want to make it kind of as um, you know the, the movements as small as possible because the smaller you make them uh, the less uh, kind of chance of you know changing textures around and making them really funny looking um, is so I'm just going to kind of go around and do that and now with the main um, liner I am going to make this quite much bigger just to kind of cover the entire area here and I am going to push it down again ever so slightly and kind of as you see you have to make sure not to kind of touch the top um, you just want to push it by tiny little things it's going to um, curve if you're only pushing one way but what you can do with that when that happens you just make your brush much smaller maybe a bit bigger <laughs> and just push it down bit by bit because remember that it when you have your brush liquify will push in the center of the brush the most so it's going to change the image in the center of the brush the most so whatever is on the outskirts of the brush is not going to get kind of changed as much so that's when you know if you see anything that is kind of like funny shaped or whatever just go there and just make sure that you're there in the middle you know with the middle of your brush okay um so i'm just going to push a tiny bit more so as i said it's just about being very careful and being very subtle because you don't want to change the skin texture and you don't want to make it look all funky um you want to make sure that it's still kind of you know looking very natural so as I said, the smaller and the more subtle the movements are, the better. And now I'm going to push the bottom here a tiny bit up, because as I mentioned, I wanted the line to be perfectly straight. So I'm just going to like raise this part here a tiny bit. Um, it looks quite straight to me now. Also let me know if you'd like me to do a separate video on liquify as a tool to kind of, you know, make yourself or a model skinnier or whatever, or, you know, changing facial features and so on, because, you know, you have so many different options in here. Um, what I'm going to do now, that might have been actually a better option rather than being so big or, you know, so, so close up. So I'm just, again, keep pushing very slightly. You want the tiny little kind of movements 
and then just to kind of make sure that everything is the same ooh, 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 ooh. same size you just go there yeah and that's pretty much perfectly straight for me anyway as you see there's quite a difference and we did it kind of without changing that much kind of you know structure of the actual you know or the actual texture i should say so as you see it's pretty good okay now same with the teeth i am going to just grab it's the same setting the same brush maybe just a bit smaller and again just kind of pulling down the area that i want kind of equal I also do it with hair a lot. Um, I use liquify for so many things. I should probably do a separate video just kind of showing you all the different ways you can use liquify. It's such a useful little tool. And not only to make yourself skinny. So I'll show you a little before and after. So that's a before and that's an after. So let's go here. And as you see, the difference is quite big, but the texture isn't changed as much. Like, I did pull a tiny bit because it's quite an extreme change, but it still doesn't really affect the image as much. Okay, so finally, this is another um, shoot that I did. This is with um, Neve that I did last week. And basically, I want to show you the way I defined lips with a liquify. What I usually use, use it for, I use the very first setting again and what i do i define the contour of the lips so i go close up to the lips as you see there's a tiny bit of bleeding like with any lipstick like that so what i do i grab the brush that is really small and i go in a tiny bit just ever so slightly um you don't have to be very drastic about it it can be very subtle uh, but this way you define the contour of the lips and you make them look uh, much more kind of even and equal and more defined in a way. Sometimes you have to push up and sometimes you have to push down. It's just whatever you feel is making the lips look kind of better. And more defined so you can go as extreme as you want you can be very subtle and you can be very kind of over the top again it's kind of up to you what you can decide to go for um, Neve here has gorgeous lips she does not need um, kind of you know definition at all um, but it's just more to kind of show you guys a good example of how it can be done if it needs to be you know sometimes you have you know maybe a bit of a funky lipstick job or whatever um, and you just kind of need to like you know define it or you know you need to even out the lips or something and that's a great way to do it I think it's one of the easiest um, I almost find it easier than um, using stamp though even though you could you do that too no problem So now I'll show you. So you see a tiny little movement, but they change so much. They make the line of the lips so much sharper, so much more defined. It's like a completely different story. Okay guys, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope you will find it helpful in your future, you know, beauty retouching. Um, I find it very helpful definitely in my work and, you know, I find that I can use it for so many different things. Um, so hopefully it's going to be a case for you too. If you have any work you'd like to tag me in, I'm Sadov Scafora across all social media, so Twitter, Instagram, um, Snapchat. So whatever you like, um, uh, you know, if you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel. And as I mentioned before, um, I am going to be going away next week and I am going to be hopefully posting daily vlogs and I hope you're going to join me for it. Um, so yeah, I'll see you next time.